Back everyone. While many kids his age want a new bike or a football, 11-year-old Gabe Hyden has something else in mind. The Minnesota boy needs a new kidney, and his family, along with the community, have come together to try and make it happen. Gabe isn't your ordinary 11-year-old. Like all kids, every day he wakes up, gets ready, heads downstairs to take four different medications. Since birth, Gabe has been battling bilateral reflux nephropathy, a condition in which the kidneys are damaged. And now Gabe needs a new kidney. So Gabe's family decided to partner up with the Children's Organ Transplant Association to help raise funds. And despite needing a kidney transplant, this doesn't stop Gabe from doing what he loves, gymnastics. The fact that I can actually do a sport and actually be able to do it without hurting myself, that's what I like about it. I'm glad that I have it. And you're glad that you have what? Life. Life? Mm -hmm. It's very precious, isn't it? When asked what people can do to help Gabe, his mother Angie simply said to pray. To say there's a lot of competition to get that dream job or promotion is likely an understatement. And experts say one of the keys to getting your foot in the door is not only what you know and what you can do, but how you look. Today, some NDSU students got a good look at some business attire available for the job hunt. In fact, NDSU's Career Center has a whole closet full of just right clothing that job seekers can use. It's called the Career Closet, and it's a free service. It's about helping NDSU students and soon-to-be grads get a leg up on the competition as they head into the workforce. Some NDSU students are toughing it out outside for a great cause. It's the annual Swingathon. 100 students, men from Tau Kappa Epsilon and women from Kappa Delta, will be out through Saturday to raise money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. We actually, as a fraternity, have a million dollar goal to help fundraise an MRI machine for St. Jude Research, and that's kind of the goal that we're shooting for, and what this event is helping out for in a whole. And you kind of think about the three day swinging will end at noon on Saturday. Last year, they raised $4,300. This year, they're hoping to raise $4,500 that time of year that everyone's looking forward to, right? That's right. We are finally into our first basketball state championship mm -hmm. tournament, North Dakota Girls B. Taking us off, we've got our first look at highlights coming up next in sports.